and why did you decide to take the AICD Company Directors course? Yes, that's a great question, Hannah. So uh, I, I felt I'd been meaning to take it for a long time, and every time I went to book it, it was always fully booked. So uh, it's been on my radar for probably a couple of years to take. Finally, I decided, right, I'm just going to commit and do it. And it was um, it was probably uh, four or five months in advance, and then COVID hit, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So um, I was very keen to make sure that I attended a face-to-face -face versus an online because as a trainer, I know what it's like to get the experiential learning through a, a classroom environment mm -hmm. versus a knowledge learning through a, a virtual environment. Mm -hmm. um, so why did I do it? It was to help me better understand as an AIPM board member, my fiscal duty um, and what I am accountable for. And as I learned in the course, uh, other board members and I were um, we're all collectively responsible for AIPM. And the second was um, a lot of the work that we do in PM Logic is around program governance, helping organizations better support mm. the way they manage their projects and programs. Yeah. And so I knew that there'll be good insights in the company director's course because it's all about governing a company. And when I think about a complex program, it's like a company as well. Yeah, definitely. And of course, um, building new relationships with other executives. Yeah, yes. Really solid insight. Yeah, I know yep. you met some characters. That's great. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's, again, uh, just picking up on that sort of experiential learning. The learning is not just through the facilitator. It's as, as a group. And AICD did, did that really well, actually. There was a lot of group um, activities. And, and obviously, as a company director, there were very experienced people there as well that uh, were able to share their experiences and learnings. And so, yeah, that was great interaction, great people. So I look forward to continuing to uh, interact with them. Definitely. Um, what Can you give us three takeaways that you thought were really useful from the AICD, AICD program? Yeah, so the first was, um, so I talked about the role of a director of the board. Um, there's also a role called a company officer. Um, which I'd heard about, but I wasn't too sure what it was. Okay. And what I've now realized is that uh, a company officer is somebody that also has a fiscal duty to make sure that they act in the best interest of the company. Mm -hmm. And so, for example, if, if a, say, um, a, a manager or somebody in a large organization is responsible for 3% or more of its income, then they would be deemed uh, an officer. Okay. And so they they have to act in the best interest of the company, whereas an employee doesn't have to. They can act in in their own best interest. So there's there's a legal line there that uh, companies need to make sure that their officers understand. And when I say companies, that's the role of the director as well. Right. Um, so that's probably a, a key one. The second is um, the three key roles. Um, so there's the board of directors and the CEO. There's the company itself that you're uh, maximizing, protecting, uh, maximizing the value and protecting. And then there's the stakeholders uh, or members. So those three key roles are, are absolutely what you've got to consider uh, with every decision, with every type of interaction. Um, mm -hmm. And the third probably is um, the, the reliance on projects. Um, and this is probably more what I learned in um, what they weren't saying versus what they were. Um, and it was probably around the interactions with my peers on the course. Yeah. There was a lot of conversation around projects, um, projects going wrong, basically. And as we know, 70% of projects do go wrong. So uh, yeah, I think that was, that was probably a, a key take is projects are really core to the role of, of the director themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How does your AICD course um, complement your experience in the project and program management field? As you mentioned, it you know it was kind of a gap, but anyway, explain. Yeah, so uh, on the complementary side, it was definitely around the governance, as I mentioned. So, um, and there were some great tools and techniques that um, I learned that I'm definitely going to apply in a program environment that I will obviously be applying in my role as a director as well. Um, I think there's um, 
there's obviously, as I mentioned, the, the project management side. So it's the interaction between uh, the director making decisions on projects mm -hmm. and the way that the projects provide information for directors to make decisions on as well. So I think there's some great complementary elements there. There was a lot of talk around, um, which I really valued, around people. So we pretty much spent a day on people out of the five days. Um, and that was health and well-being. It was around making sure that you're, if you think about work, health and safety, that's yeah. not just about physical harm, it's about mental harm as well. So mm -hmm. making sure that there isn't bullying, that there isn't... Um, that you're encouraging diversity, you're in, you know, and doing it for the right reasons rather than to meet some quota or something, you know, it's the, it's, it's, it's that intense that you have. So I think there's, there's some great synergies with that content and what's required in the project space, particularly around those behavioral elements that, um, you know, I talk about at length. So the purpose, making sure the people are, are value aligned and, and aligned on culture and then their practices around those humanistic skills as well. Mm -hmm.